the Orlando Drummer. Thank you guys for stopping in for another drum lesson. So recently I had the opportunity to head up to Vancouver, British Columbia to hang out at the Drumeo headquarters for a week and we did a uh, drum camp there. It was a VIP week, so a full week of drum education absolutely mind-blowing, so I'm planning on posting a lot more from that trip soon. Uh, but one thing I noticed while I was up there is that I'm really used to my setup here at home. I'm used to my kit, right? So I play two four-piece kits here at home, one for me and one for my students. But I noticed that I, I never put another tom on. I never put another floor tom, I never put another rack tom. So when I got up to Drumeo and I had the opportunity to play this beautiful Sonar Pro Light, well, at some points there were five and six toms on this thing. And I had all these crazy ideas I was coming up with and a lot of cool tom grooves. So when I get home, I try to play those tom grooves and I realize I can't replicate them because I don't have all these extra toms that I had been using for the whole week. So the idea of this lesson is to sort of solve that problem for you if you've ever had it, and that is playing tom grooves on a four-piece kit. So the groove that we're learning today, really, really easy. We're just gonna start with the first five notes. The first five notes are kick, left, right, kick, left, played as one E and a two. Now that two, that left hand, of course that goes on the snare, that's our big loud backbeat. And the left, right that fall on E and of beat one, those are getting played on the floor tom. Why are we doing them left, right instead of right, left? Well, it's because we have to have an accented left right after that kick on the uh of beat one. So going left, kick, left can be a little bit tough at a higher speed. So we're gonna keep that pattern left, right to give our left hand a chance to come back and hit that accent. Let's give it a shot at two speeds. All right, guys, the next chunk that we're learning is eight notes long. It's gonna take us all the way from the E of beat two, where we left off, all the way to the downbeat of four. But instead of perceiving this as a total of eight notes, I want you to look at it as two smaller groups, a group of five and then a group of three. So the group of five is gonna be played as right, left, right, left, left. The left hands, I want you to just leave on the snare as ghost notes. It's the right hands that we're gonna be pulling out and moving to the toms. So the first right hand in that group, that falls on the E of beat two. That's gonna go up to your rack tom, and the second right hand in that group goes down to the floor tom. Now for the kick right, left, that falls on and a four, the right hand, that goes up to your rack tom, and the left hand, of course, that's on the downbeat of four, so that's our last backbeat. That's just a loud, accented snare, and we're gonna stop right there for this example. Let's give it a shot at two speeds, and then we'll move on to how we can loop this guy in a full circle. All right, guys, so we're down to our final three notes. Those are gonna be played as kick right, left on E and A, uh, right where we left off. Of course, the right, left, we're just gonna put those down on our floor tom. So it would seem already that we can just loop this whole groove in a circle, no problem. But there's a couple of interesting things that come up when you start to practice this groove. I noticed that the last six notes of the groove are kick right, left, kick right, left but the first six notes of the groove are kick left, right, kick left, right. So you're asking your hands to change gears kind of quickly and that was something that I had to put a lot of focus on when I was first working through this groove. With that said, let's add on these last three notes and play this whole groove in a loop. We'll try it out at three speeds.
All right, guys, that's all I have for you today, but thank you so much for checking out this drum lesson. If you want more drum lessons just like this one, head over to orlandodrummer.com where you'll find hundreds of lessons very, very similar to this, including the new Hi-Hat Vocabulary Expansion Pack and my Blushda Masterclass. Hope you guys will check that out and I will see you in the next lesson.